The migration of fashion from ancient times to today is just adorable. From Emma Subbalakshmi to Nayanthara, the Tamil film industry has had its own unique style for decades. In this video, we have covered the fashion and makeup from the 1930s till date. Get a glimpse of the dramatic change of fashion in the Kollywood film industry in an undreamable path. The 1930s are the times when fashion evolution started carving its own path in South India. White stone jewelry was the most preferred type of accessory in black and white movie as it gave that enhanced look. Take a look from top to bottom from the neti chutti to the heavy anklets. Most of the heroines preferred tilak shaped bindi and nath which gave a classic look. Curly hair was the most preferred hairstyle compared to straight hair. When it came to the 1940s in fashion and makeup, the first thing that comes to our mind is the optimistic look of the heroine. The circle thin eyebrows with minimal eye shadow was the most preferred style. Have a look at the actresses Anjali Devi and Banumati who have carried themselves in a graceful way. The late 1940s were the times when wing eyeliner came into existence. Heavy zari sari with white stone jewelry are the highlights of these times. As most of the movies were historically based movies, the head crowns and veils were given more importance. Take for example the dressing of actress Anjali Devi in the movie Mange Karasi in which she wore a heavy zari sari with puff sleeves and white stone jewelry sets. This trend was followed in the 1950s with some minimal change. The 1950s are the times when accentuated lashes, rounded brows and lightly lined lips came into existence. Tilak shaped bindi and curly hair were again trending. Most of the heroines were of a curvy physique, which was preferred to the slim physique. The 1950s was the decade which did not have physique constraint. The makeup and attire worn in this time were very simple, and this helped the audience to consider them a part of the family. One best example is actress Savitri with her looks in the movie Kalathur Kannamma, which was simple with a bad lip shade and wispy braids. This decade was very notable as this was the era when the first Tamil color movie was released Ali Babavum Naapadi Thirudargalum From then on the view on fashion and choice of color has changed a lot This made the 1960s opt for a bold look with darker wings and sheer peachy blushes Thickly penciled bold wings are the signature features of the 60s which is followed even today. Can you imagine the two-sided plates for a sari? Yes, this was the trending style in those days. Other than this, high tight buns were the most preferred hairstyle, decorated with embellishing flowers like chrysanthemum and jasmine. Heavy jumkas with ear chain and matching traditional attigai jewelry were the desired fashion icon of those eras. Round bindis and embroidery sarees came into the trend in these times. Western dresses like skirts and gowns gained prominence in this time period. You can see the style of Saroja Devi in the movie Anbeva. in which she has given fashion goals to many young girls of those times the focus was more on eyes keeping the rest of the face muted pale lip shadows like beige baby pink and peach were in vogue this thing was not the same in the 1970s and you can see a minimal change in the makeup For instance, skinny eyebrows were preferred to bold eyebrows. Overlining lips was no more fashionable as natural looking lips in muted shades were in vogue. 
retro style was the most influenced fashion as compared with salwar kameez in these times the hastings were not the same as high buns and there were different styles like short hair ironed hair ponytails etc smudged liners and orange blush were hugely popular have a look at some of the inspiring 70s heroines above Now moving on to 1980s fashion look the very illuminated and vibrant look bright glossy lips and heavy pink blush were all the rage this period sheer sari with close neck elbow sleeve blouse was the trend in the 80s which is the trend even today right untamed brows bright eye shadow and bright metallic lipstick were used in abundance Dusky looks were the trending looks of this time. You can see more dusky skinned heroines in this period of an era in large number. It was the time when bell bottom pants and shirts came into the trend. Most of the heroines are portrayed with less makeup and simple outfit on screen. Salwar suits and gowns were the most preferred attire in these periods. The actresses like Nadia have given fashion goals like Nadia hairstyles and Nadia jewelry in the 1980s. The heroines in the 90s are the same in fashion as compared to previous eras. They all maintained a mattified skin texture with thick eyeliner and full length brows. Fluffy and wavy hair wasn't the vogue. and overlining lips were a comeback in this period fashion repeats itself so this was the period where chubby heroines were in the top the actress like kushboo was one of the trend setter in the 90s with her classic western look and matching accessories in the late 90s was the time long sleeve salwars were a trending fashion style Loose fitting anarkali and straight cut salwars were in fashion those times. Elbow sleeve blouses were back to trend again in the 90s period. The new century has also brought new fashion trends in the industry. The early 20s was a trend for two tones glossy nude lips and frosty smoky eye shadow. No more high buns in this era. Straight free hair was the trend from then. Thin brows and nude eyeliners were the most commonly used pattern. This was not the same in later 2000. Compared to western outfits, light shade sarees were the most desired clothing. Shalini's alai payude looks are still the most iconic ones until now. Do you agree? If so, comment below. The 2000 was a time when western dresses like t-shirts, mini skirts and shirts came into fashion. Jyotika was one such actress to cultivate new trends in fashion in that period. Now she gives us fashion goals with sari. Sarees were also an equal trend in this period. Light shade sarees are the most preferred one. Later in the middle of the decade half sarees were trending as Trisha's gilly and unakum enakum attire was eye catchy Even matching kundan jewelry sets were in fashion after the movies Then came the old trend salwar suits but with minimal changes like gathering pants and fitted top salwars Now this era from 2010 the industry touches all the aspects of fashion from traditional silk sarees to trending modern outfits Let it be a layered free hair or a front puff one or a colored hair these are the most trending style Designer kurtis and palazzos are the trending outfits today Trimmed brows and nude makeup that gives natural looks are the most in fashion. 
Haiwans came into trend after the recent look of Nainthara and Vishwasam. The fashion may change year after year, but the grace and beauty of her actresses remain the same for all ages. Hope you all enjoyed watching this video. Comment on your favorite fashion era in the comment box or share your suggestions with us if we have missed any. Subscribe to our channel and stay tuned to get more such updates.